Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Lamy AL Star Black EMR Digital Pen. And this pen has been out for several years now. This pen uses the Wacom EMR technology, which hasn't evolved much in recent years. So this pen can still be considered up to date by today's standards. Official retail price for this pen is US $60. And I noticed many sellers actually sell this pen at a much higher price. So do compare prices before you buy this pen. This pen supports tilt, palm rejection, and 4,000 over levels of pressure sensitivity. So this pen is compatible with Samsung Galaxy tablets that support the Samsung S Pen and other tablets that support the Wacom EMR technology, such as the Remarkable 2 tablets and the Onyx Books e-readers. The most important thing you need to know before you buy the pen is to buy the pen with the correct name. This pen is available with three different nib options and the pen I purchased came with the pointier nib PC slash EL. The tip size is 0.35 millimeter. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this pen nib actually has a rubberized tip and this does provide extra resistance when drawing and writing on glass. So this will provide you with a bit more control when drawing. And this pen tip or pen nib is very similar to the original Samsung pen nib, which also has a rubberized tip. When you're reading the product description for the pen, make sure the pointier nib is mentioned. And shown on the screen right now are the three different pen nibs that are available for this Lamy digital pen. The one at the top is the Lamy Z105 PC slash EL round pen nib. Based on the product photo, it seems like this may also be a textured nib, but I cannot confirm because I don't have this pen nib. The one in the middle is the Lamy Z108 POM round pen nib, and this is a hard plastic nib. This has no texture on the tip and this has no rubberized tip so this is going to write and draw very smoothly on glass surfaces so for drawing purposes you want more control so it's best to get the third nib which is the Lamy Z107 PC slash EL pointier nib which has the rubberized Tip. Pen nib replacements are available and the price for each pen nib is around 4 US dollar or 4 euros depending on who you buy from. This Lamy pen nib can be used with the Samsung S Pen but not the Stadler Norris digital pens and the reason for that is because this triangular head is too big and that prevents the whole pen nib from going into the Stadler pen completely. And now let's look at the design of the pen. So AL represents aluminum and AL star is actually one of the Lamy fountain pen designs. So this pen looks exactly like their Lamy AL star fountain pens except this is a digital pen. So it has the classic clip here that looks like a huge paper clip. At the top of the cap is this star design which is different compared to the crosshair design of my Lamy Safari fountain pen. The cap is cylindrical but the body has two flat sides and this pen is made in Germany. The surface texture is low gloss. Now the body and the cap are not interchangeable with other Lamy fountain pens or at least not with this Lamy Safari fountain pen that I have because this pen is a digital pen, it's not a fountain pen and they have this thing here at the back probably to house the electronics. So this pen has one side button located quite far away from the pen tip which is nice because this prevents me from hitting or pressing the button accidentally. And the grip section is triangular and each section is about the same size. So this triangular design allows you to grip the pen comfortably. There are actually people who don't like the triangular grip. This one is okay. This one is actually better compared to the Lamy Safari fountain pen I have because 
This is not really triangular. It has two flat sides, but the bottom is rounded off. And there is this circular thing which allows the pen to roll very freely on the table. So to prevent the pen from rolling off the table, it's best to put the pen cap behind. This pen is quite light. And if you have the cap behind, it's going to make it slightly heavier, but on its own, it's lightweight and it's comfortable to hold. For the pen test, I will be comparing the Lamy pen with the Samsung S Pen and the Statler Norris Digital Jumbo. I am going to skip the Statler Norris Digital Non Jumbo because this has exactly the same performance as the Lamy pen. So let's test this pen. So this pen has pressure and tilt and palm rejection which is why I can have my palm on the display while I'm writing this and there is perfect palm rejection. So let's test the initial activation force. This is how thick the line really is and this is how thin I can get the line to be. So the initial activation force is really low. And let's draw a very slow, thin diagonal line. And this looks straight enough. So there's no diagonal line wobble when drawing diagonal lines slowly. Next, let's look at the tapered strokes, and this is looking really good. The strokes are able to taper very smoothly, very sharply. Let's look at the transition from thin to thick. Back to thin, and back to thick, and back to thin. So this is very smooth transition, which is nice. So now I'm trying to create lines with consistent width by applying consistent pressure and I can do so easily. So I've already gone ahead to create the line test for all the other pens as well including the original thinner Stadler Norris Digital and I'm using black for the Norris Digital. So let's compare the three pens and all three pens or all four pens were tested with the same brush which is this thick. So from what I can see the initial activation force of the Lamy EMR pen is definitely lower compared to the Samsung S pen. And what that means is you can draw thinner lines more easily compared to the Samsung S pen. So this is the thinnest I can get when I try really hard to draw with very little pressure but it's still thicker compared to what I can get from the Lamy EMR pen. So this performance is actually really good. For the tapered strokes, um, I can see that they all taper quite well. Oh, I forgot about this. This that the Norris Digital Jumbo has the highest initial activation force, so it's very difficult for me to draw thin lines with this. So out of the four pens, it's this Norris Digital and the Lamy EMR pen that are most sensitive. For line transition, they are all quite smooth, but again, you can get a wider variance because you can get a fun because you can get the lines to look thinner and thicker compared to the Samsung pen and the Jumbo pen where the lines are thicker, where the thin lines are thicker. So you can get this type of variance where the lines are extra thick and extra thin. So that's the limitation with these two pens. As for how well the three pens do when it comes to maintaining consistent pressure, um, they all do quite well but again you can see better variance with the Lamy EMR pen and the uh, Stadler Norris Digital versus the Samsung S pen and the uh, Jumbo Norris Digital. And now let's test tilt sensitivity. Tilt 
field works, but you can see the lines are broken. There are gaps here, here, and here. And just for comparison purposes, this is the Samsung S Pen, which I'm going to test here, just to show you the difference. So there are no broken lines or gaps with this pen, with this pen, and with this pen. And this is the reason why there are broken lines and gaps. So when you're drawing like this, you can get thin lines, but when you tilt the pen down at this angle, you can get the broad strokes. But if you tilt the pen too low like this, it's actually the plastic part, the black plastic part that is in contact with the glass. So at this point, the pen tip is actually not in contact with the surface, which is why there are gaps. So for the Lamy pen, there is a limit to how low you can tilt the pen, whereas for these three pens, you can tilt them lower compared to the Lamy pen and still get tilt to work. And now let's talk about the side button. The shortcut for the side button will vary depending on the app you use and depending on the app you use, the side button may or may not be customizable. This app that I'm using is Concepts and I have configured the side button to select things. So when I press this button here, I can go into selection mode and select things to delete. And once I release the button, it goes back to the drawing mode or the brush and I can draw, select, delete very easily with the side button. So this is actually quite convenient. You can do the same with the Samsung S Pen because there is one side button here, but not with the Statler Norris digital pens because there are no side buttons. By the way, this jumbo pen has an eraser on the back, but not the original Norris Digital. So I hope this review of the Lamy AL Star Black EMR pen is useful. And if you are interested to get this pen, you can check out the purchase links that I have for you in the video description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.